Hey everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald, and now we're going to fight this person in here in the uh, Where Institute. It's the fierce, you're so cute, you're just disgusting, I'll put you down, kitty. No, no one calls me cute, no one calls me a kitty. I'm going to kill you. I mean it, I'm going to kill you. Ooh, Aqua Admin, I see. And you just have a Carvana, yay, how fun. So this is actually one of the admins of Team Agua. First, I think the first admin we were fought in the game. And that Carvana goes, goes down so easily, it's not even funny. And now she's going to bring in a mighty Anna, and because it has Intimidate, I don't really want to stay in on it because Fat Bulker only has physical attacks. So I'm going to bring Kaji now, because Kaji now has Overheat, which is a very powerful fire type move, as you all know. So she gets the Intimidate off, and Overheat should do at least a lot of damage. Don't know if it won't, if it will want to kill it. It does because it's so extremely powerful. So excellent work, Kaji. Excellent work. I defeated an admin in like one minute, so she isn't really too hard. Shelly, ha <laughs> ha, disgustingly strong. Okay. See if I run into your business. Mm. And a four mount pyre! What? what could that mean? And then they just disappear. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And then you'll see the receive an odd little prize. You'll receive a cast form which is kinda like is in my opinion a little bit gimmicky Pokemon. It's like a weather Pokemon. It can learn any of the uh, moves like Rain Dance, Sunny Day and the uh, hail and uh, it would transform into a certain uh, like form if it is ice and it, it can learn some it's a pretty uh, it's an interesting pokemon but it's not really too strong so if you want to use something gimmicky go for that but no i will not have guess cast form on my team and here is a lecture and if you head if you head left and up there's a warfall so we can't get there yet, but I'll cover that later on when uh, we get Warfall. And that was a random tentacle because my Pokemon is apparently a little bit too level, too under level for uh, this place. Right there is a hidden Ultra Ball, and you know Ultra Balls are always nice to find. And let's surf again upon our little Lotad. I wonder how it can carry me. I mean, it's just a little low pad. I mean, it's only like one foot B. How can it carry me? Yeah, Pokemon Logic again there for you. Yeah, let's see. No hidden items. Here's the secret base if you want to make a secret base. And here's some. And uh, there's one more item. Oh, I didn't want to jump on there. But here, here's one particular item I really wanted. It's the Leaf Stone. And with that, I can evolve Nuzleaf or Themis is that just straight. Now I looked, I've looked over uh, Nuzleaf moves, and it doesn't learn any good move until level 49, and that's extra sensory. So I will evolve it now because I will teach you some good TMs. So yeah, this is one of the two, one of the reasons why I picked uh, uh, Nuzleaf or Shift Tree over uh, Ludicolo because you will get Ludicolo extremely late in the game. And uh, yeah, now a Themis has evolved into a Shift Tree, so now it's a very, it's a very good Pokemon. So yeah, now we have our first fully evolved Pokemon on our, on our team. Isn't that just great? Too bad it has early bird. Yeah, it has decent stats. It has good attack and special attack. That makes it a good, uh, like a uh, mixed sweeper. Oh, nothing has happened to the egg yet. What is that all about? Jeez, let's hop on our Lotad again. And I'm, I'm actually wondering why it doesn't sink. I mean, it could just be on the bottom of the, uh, the, uh, like, water here, but I don't know. But it's, it's the moment you got get up here, look who comes here on her bike. Where well, I was looking for you. Strong have you got and really strong with your Pokemon? Of course you are. Go. Let's go. Sienna will battle May again, and she's gonna start off with Lombre. 
and uh, it's not too hard but because of the rain is up if the rain is up it doubles its speed because of uh, swift win and fake out is annoying because it is a priority move and it will it will always flinch you so it can be just annoying or I don't actually know if this lo if these uh, Pokemon have swift win because I outspeeded it with fat bastard okay I don't see it it recovering from the rain so I guess it's a it it is a swift swimming uh, long breath but I still are speedy for some random reason I don't know guess fast bosser is really fast and I get a crit which was not needed and now she's going to bring a slugma and slugma is not going to be too much problem really it's it's not going to be too much problem really at all in the rain because fire type protect will not do anything at all to you now she's going to bring in her last Pokemon, which is Marstomp, and obviously if you started with Trico, she will have a Kumba skin, and uh, if you started with Mudkip, she will have a... a what is face again? Grovile! And then I think she's going to have like a Tropius or something as her uh, grass... No, it, it is Lombre. I think it's Wingull or something. I don't remember... I don't really remember fully, but... I think it's Tropia. No, Wingull as a world type Pokemon. So now defeated May wasn't really too hard. Ah, Emil, you're strong. I was worried that you might be struggling with your training. Never. And our Femis got some action date, which is awesome. Straight out awesome. And uh, May gives you an excellent present, a very helpful present. It's HM02 Fly. So now you can fly all over the place, but we have to get the gym badge from Forty City first. Great! And unfortunately, we don't have that yet. Ooh, hello there, Scott. How are you doing, dude, man? Yes, I just beat the crap out of her. Really upset. I didn't see any tears in her eyes. Hey, then I would. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, there's a double battle over here. Let's have ourselves a little double battle. I mean, with the power show, victory is by So turn to shine. Whoa, yeah! The Lord King Shadows live in darkness. That's my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. Well then, welcome to death! Anyways, they have a ninja and a manetric. And this can be kind of annoying. Because, yeah. Or maybe not, because I have rock tomb and then... Four times to perfect as Ninja, and luckily I didn't paralyze, which worried me. Oh, come on, Femis. Just when you evolve, you start missing rock tombs. What's all about? Yay, it missed too, so it makes up for the miss, kind of. And our Femis goes to level 35. Awesome. Show me who's the boss. I admit defeat. And uh, let's see. Let's actually have a boss to RP from because I want him to level up. Uh, the end of this episode and there's only one trainer left yeah there's only I can't believe it there's only one trainer left to hide a tree use a forest that makes sense I guess spell was better four times because it just take took some time because slash him one he goes and it goes boom but five boss is awesome because he lives a, a booming coughing and I'm just bringing hard and oh come on heart this is going to be annoying he said yeah it's going to be really annoying. Ta <laughs> tackle, tackle did one damage. Boy, your superiority. What? Fat bastard is evolving. Yes. Finally, fat bastard is going to evolve into a, even a bigger fat bastard. Because now, Figuroth has evolved into Slug King. Which scratches on his belly. Yes, Swagger. No, I'm not going to be teaching him that. It isn't really that great of a move, in my opinion. Let's check out our newly evolved fat bastard. Look at that attack stat 136. That's level 36. That's pretty darn amazing. So, Fat Bastard is an awesome Pokemon now, amazing. Just about that stupid Truant ability. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're gonna pick some berries in the rain. How fun is that? Picking berries in the rain. 
I would so imagine that if I would ever do that in real life. Yada yada yada, come on, come on, I wanna get to Fortress City because before this episode ends. And here we are at the lovely city of Fortree. The treetop city that frolics with nature. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.